Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With six tenths of a second remaining. Now, back to the morning roast with Vontae and Shasky. Eight years ago today, out in Oklahoma City, Mike Breen on a call for ABC. Saturday night, Warriors Thunder. Riveting overtime game where Stephen Curry hits a 35-footer to beat OKC. Mike Breen, and I don't know if you saw this last year, FP, but Stephen Curry presented Mike Breen with some shoes and that call. He opened the box and it was that call. No way. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot! First of all, I can't believe that was eight years ago today. Eight years ago today where Stephen Curry dropped 46 points, hit 12 threes. He was 12-16 for the three-point line that night. Six assists. Draymond Green had an absurd line. Two points, 14 rebounds, 14 assists, six steals. Klay Thompson, 32 points on only two threes. I mean, Iguodala with 12 off the bench. You're playing KD. You're playing Westbrook. Kevin Durant had 37, 7 of 11. One of the most fascinating regular season games I've ever seen. Where were you at? Do you remember that? No. You don't? You're no. on the road? No, no. You were getting ready for spring training. Yeah. Probably down in South Florida at the time. South Florida. We're Locked in the into trade. baseball season. Back in that day, it was... Uh, up north. Okay. North of Vero Beach. Okay. Space Coast Stadium back in the day. Wow. But like you, you you read that box score, that's what Clay has to do again if they go deep into the playoffs. <laughs> and then those days are over, right? Or are they? I mean, that was eight years ago. Pre, I know. Pre ACL injury. But Steph needs a number two. He, need, they, he, he needs a number two now. Like if somebody else has to step yeah, up. Well, you hope that it's Andrew Wiggins. He might go for 50 tonight. You no, know, yeah. He, Steph might go for 50. Well, he's tonight. averaged 30 a game against the Wizards. He might go for 50 time. based 29. on what just happened. And based on people thinking he was tired and he's going to yeah, show the world he, he's not tired right. and he's going to be on a little bit of a mission tonight. Right. Well, he'll be on a mission. He ain't passing. 888 <laughs> Where were you when Curry hit that shot? So I, let me, a quick story, FP. That day, I was at Dolores Park. It's my boy, Mo Buddy. God brother, Mo Buddy. Lex. And we deep, we had the game on DVR. So we go to the house. We order some wigs. Sand tug wigs out on Irving Street. Sand tug wigs. If you know about that. Pretty good. Irving in 22nd. Of How are the wings? I like my oh. wings dry rub. No, these are sticky wings. Uh, they, they, these wings will change your life. Really? Yeah. They'll change your life. So Can we, we have bring the in some in right now? <laughs> so, yeah. so we go to the bachelor pad where I used to, <laughs> I used to live on 10th and Clement, right? Yeah. So we called it the bachelor pad because uh. it was me and my buddy from Philly, the Philly Zoo. And we stayed there for over 10 years. And, you know, we're single guys at the time. By the time I moved out, obviously, it was with Anna. So that's that. So we go there to the bachelor pad. He's waiting on us. He's like, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? I got the game pause. We watched that entire game. We we're about 45 minutes behind everybody. So we put our phones down in the middle of the table, turned them off, and just watched the game. Breeze through every commercial. It was losing our minds. Now, mind you, FP, this was in the midst of the 73-9 season. The Warriors won this game to improve to 53-5. and Think about that. They won this game to improve to 53 and 5. OKC was 41 and 18. 53 and 5. And when Curry hit that shot, the apartment just went nuts. I'm rolling around on the carpet, which was dirty and needed to be cleaned. And, you know, <laughs> buddies jumping up against the wall. We're like, what just happened? And it's Steph Curry to celebration. It would have been a 15 yard penalty in the NFL. In baseball, it would have been the equivalent of pipping a whole run and then coming back up and getting hit by a pitch. By 99 mile an hour fastball. He like crip walked. He did the birdie. He celebrated. I mean, even people in OKC was like, what the heck just happened here? Some people in OKC, if you look at the crowd shots, they're standing behind looking, oh no, it's going to go in. Mike Breen, play the call again. Listen to Mike Breen. I want you to listen to this call, FP. Mike Breen's like, they got a timeout left. What are they doing? The drive falling away. Won't go. Rebound taken by Iguodala. They do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With six tenths of a second remaining. They do have a timeout remaining, and he just pulls up casually from 35. It hits nothing but net. It's one of the great nights. I mean, for dub fans out there, man. That was it. I went out to the club that night, actually. And <laughs> went out to the club, and he, you're, you're going to disagree with this, F.E., because I was single at the time. I was still single. 
go to the club that night and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even look at women because I was just thinking about the shot. That's how sick I am. Now there's five women walking around up this thinking, Curry just hit one for 35 feet. Like, this is insane. And of course, he was on his way to his unanimous MVP season. That was eight years ago today. And he's still doing similar things, FP, at the age of 35. He it's is. Pretty absurd. He, he is, but he need he needs some help from his friends he too. Does now. Need some help he now. had a lot more help from his friends back then. <laughs> yeah, he had some help from his friends. I mean, he did drop forty six. He did drop forty six. I mean, you can only ask him to do so much <laughs> right now. And I feel like I feel like he has such a burden on him right now because he knows what we're talking about. But, but should it be a burden on him this year? Because everybody always talks about strength and numbers. Got a bunch of guys here. You got Curry, and you got a bunch of dudes who can fill in the blanks, right? Kaminga, Pods, Wiggins, Draymond, go down to Clay, CP3. It shouldn't be. It, he shouldn't have a full play, FP. When you think about it, but there there are times this year when you see him forcing things more than more than before. Yeah. There's times oh. when he's forcing shots and he's right. dribbling around and they're setting picks and he's dribbled and he's trying to find a seam and he's trying to do the step back where. Before, when there's other threats, either down low or on the other side, whether it's Clay or whomever, he has he has more opportunities to get open. And yep. if you watch him work away from the ball, he's still working hard, but he's not working it as quickly with the spring in his step oh. as he used to away by, from the ball. By the way, I think. By the way, going back to this game, the double bag game, because I do want to follow up with what you just said. But I know you're down in uh, North Florida getting ready for national season. That game, Vieira Beach, Vieira Beach. That game in which Curry hit that shot, and Mike Snow, what up, Mike Snow, a.k.a. Raider Debater. That game on a Saturday night. Now, Steve Kerr missed the first, I want to say, 41 games. You know, he had some health issues, yeah, back or whatnot. Luke Walton was coaching. So, Kerr was back by that point. At halftime of that game, Draymond and Curry got into it. And Lisa Salters had a halftime report coming out of the locker room in the third quarter. If folks, security had to be called to the Warriors locker room, and Draymond apparently was screaming at Steve Kerr, I'm not a freaking robot. You don't want me to shoot it? Fine, I won't shoot it. They almost got into a fight in the locker room at halftime of that basketball game, which is pretty funny. Eight years ago. So some things never change, right? Yeah. Draymond's yelling at Steve Kerr at halftime. Curry's begging shots left and right, 12 threes in that game. Clay drops 32, and the Warriors somehow win that game with a 35-foot three. Forgot about that. Lisa Sanchez goes. It was like serious, too. It was like she was reporting from the White House. Guys, security <laughs> had to come into the locker room, and there was this fight. It was like, wait, what? Where is it breaking there? At the time, they were 52 and 5. What are they fighting for? Dude, I love that, though. I love that competitive edge. <laughs> and sometimes when you have a coach that you vibe with so much, you forget he's your coach. And Travis Kelsey in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Andy Reid. I mean, the, the, a competitive Juices flowing, heat of battle in a game, in a big time game. That's fine, dude. I got no problem with that. In practice before the right. season, dude, punching your teammate. Yeah, that's not. I got cool. a problem with that. That's not cool. Lisa Salters, hey Tyler Miller's so right. Lisa Salters, when she was reporting that, was like she saw a ghost. It was like, sir, hey guys, uh, just got word that security's called to the Warriors line. Like, I'll be it. These half times are like twelve minutes. <laughs> So, who made the call to halftime? Was it a Warriors coach? I, that's what I need to figure out. Hey, Raymond Ritter, who called security into the locker room back in Oklahoma City? That's why it's 30 for 30 for the go to say Warriors. It's going to be fascinating one day. Who called security? What what transpired? What started the shouting match in the locker room? And then, of course, Curry hits the double bang shot. So, that was eight years ago today. Uh, if you want to chime in on that, where were you when that shot happened? Like, we've had some iconic moments, right? We got Brandon Crawford moving out of St. Louis. We got the... Warriors moving on to the nation's capital to start this four-game road trip, and they've all been part of some great memories. But where were you eight years ago today when Curry hit that shot? Wow, I can't believe that was eight years, FP. We're getting old, man. I mean, you still look the same. You still look like you're 40, maybe 35. Did you make